So let us, <clears throat> let's look at how we can clean up our files. Just to give you a bit of context, um, I run a free Facebook group. Um, it's called Digital Organisation for Beginners. Excuse me. <clears throat> and we have a lot of inquiries and queries. A lot of people who come to us actually don't know where to start, how to get started with their folder structure and organising all of the files they've got on their desktop. So if you need help in that space, uh, obviously the YouTube channel, I've got lots of videos about a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of digital organisation stuff. Um, there's a free Facebook group. This is what it's called here. There's a paid Facebook group. We're going to go with the links below, down below. And then I also, uh, for those that need a just very specific help, please just help me get this done. I offer one-to-one -one training, 90-minute sessions. I do that for Remarkable, for Good Notes, and for Digital Organisation. Um, just getting um, probably half of the sessions I do are around this, this sort of stuff. And that's why I thought I'd do a video just to help those who want to get started and don't really know how to do that it, it can be very challenging I certainly remember when I didn't know how or where to get it all you know happening or let me just straighten that up okay so here's my top tip when you're first getting started I work with the nested system so let me put this on pen because otherwise it's we're not going to be able to see anything I'm going to go medium um, so if you can think of Russian dolls um, you know how they sit inside one another, so a little head, little body, then bigger head, bigger body, and then a bigger doll, and then a bigger doll. Well, that's called, whoops, you know what I mean, um, Russian dolls. Th that's the system I My use. My top tier is always work and home. Some people use the word personal here. Um, I haven't really seen probably many more variations than that. Uh, this could perhaps be the name of your business here instead of work, or it could be the name of your employment. But I put more in my work folder, which is why I call it the general term of work. But I'll explain that in a moment. So um, the other thing I just want to say about confidence in this space, sometimes you think you know what you want to do, but you don't have the confidence because you're not sure. That's another reason why I make this, made this video <clears throat> and it's part of the work I do with my clients because sometimes you just need to hear from someone who does this stuff all the time to say, yeah, that's actually what you should be doing. So just feel confident. If whatever your inkling is in this space, I would start with just two and this is what I keep on my desktop. If I was to show you my desktop right now, go to my files, you would see home and work. Uh, sometimes I work straight. I, I work out of this de uh, another desktop or home place for me, um, and I'll talk about the collection box a little later. But let's two fingers from the top gets you into the document drawer, and then we can get back to the document we are working on. So my suggestion is to always start with your biggest rocks at the top. All right, and that is what we're actually going to um, the whole theory of everything we're going to talk about in this video is about you picking your biggest rocks and the, those rocks are categories I'm running out of room this is when the um, continuous scroll when I like it I actually don't use it much but it is useful when you're on a roll and you don't want to go to a new page that's when I find this useful all right let's go back down all right so your biggest rocks are actually your biggest categories in your life Right, so this is your folder structure is about you, and that's important. And your biggest categories in your life. <clears throat> so I start up the top with work and home, and the capture. I'm using that word out of David Allen's Get Things Done system, which is obviously trademarked to him. It's got a little R in it and it's I'm not affiliated with his work at all, but I absolutely love it and it makes absolute sense to my brain. It's very logical for me. So we're not going to go into all of that today, but I put that there because this is how I work and I thought I would just share that with you guys. So under work, I like the numbering system. So that's another convention. So I know some of these words um, may be new if you've not actually looked into how to get organized before. Um, naming conventions are a thing, 
right? And whether you realize it or not, you probably already do it in your life in general, uh, just uh, intuitively. So I like to use numbering in my naming conventions because in some filing systems across all your digital spaces, when you get to, if you want things in a certain order, most people use alphabet, right? Sometimes you can't put an alphabetic letter uh, like admin is always going to start with A, strategy is always going to start with S. So for me, I like everything. I like to find a folder at the beginning, in the middle or at the end. I like every time I go into a folder, I actually want it to be in the same space. So that's why I use the numbering system. And I start with 00. zero. That's always my home ground zero file folder file. And in my brain, this is how it works for me. But you certainly need to change it for how it works for you. So I start with 00, zero and admin is the space for me and that is all the things in my business that where I'm working on the business not in the business right. Um, I won't go into that. So strategy, finances, marketing would be would be folders I would put inside of admin my 00, zero folder. Then comes the actual on the business. Now I've put this in context of whether of different types of businesses as best I can. So I actually would do, let me just zoom in for you and you can see the little zoom button comes up just for those that don't know about the zoom button. I actually would call this then 01. Now the pen's really thick because, and then I would call, so clients would be my 01. Let's go down. My products is my 02. But again, I'm just showing you what I do. Um, vendors, suppliers, contractors. I mean, it just it just depends what sort of work that you're in. So, I would put my zero three. Actually, whoops. Um, I actually keep them in a slightly different format after that. But look, then you would just number what zero three, what zero four, and automatically it will sign up, uh, uh, show up. In your folder in the way you want so let's click the zoom button zoom out and go to home in home I always have my little documents like obviously you have your hard copy like your driver's license and your insurance papers and um, your different cards for whatever you need I like to keep a digital copy of those as well um, and a backup of those digital copies so um, which is off-site in another space but there we go we have legal then all my strategy stuff, this is for home now, and then assets and all the documents that are important for that. Um, finances, health, holidays, home, contractors, it goes on and on, right? I'm sure you get the picture um, of how that all breaks down. Um, so the last thing I think I really want to, just to summarise, um, I think I really just want to talk about the workflow in the collection box. Uh, should I do collection box in another? Yes. Your workflow is about your discipline of how you file when each, each day when your files are created by you. And that's a work habit that you need to, and it might be five minutes at the end of each day, that you might grab your files and you might file them all, make sure they're all clean and tidy. So there is a workflow that goes with this actual um, strategy or discipline that we've got here. But the last thing I just want to mention is the collection box. I use my desktop as my collection box. And I also, from time to time, depending on what projects I'm working on, I will have a folder that's actually called collection box. And I will put all my random things in there that need filing. I stopped doing that <coughs> a short while ago. Um, because it was creating a bad habit for me and I wasn't going in there and filing it. So then I started using this space as my collection box. But it really depends on you and how you work as to whether you will have your collection box in a folder here where all of these documents then would be in that. But I'm using this space because then when I log on, I know that I've got to do this, 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 this. These are the things I'm currently working on in my bigger picture when I go into work. These are the things I'm currently working on. And what happens for me is that when I've finished, I've got a few things I need to grab for my studio right now. But when I finish doing that, I will highlight it. And on the desktop app, you can drag. But on the Remarkable, you can't drag and drop. You have to then move it 
and then you go into I don't know let's put it in content move it there I'll move it back and then when I'm back out in work it's no longer on my desktop here when I am in content though, this is another capture collection box for me. When I am in here, um, I would see that and if that is completed, I actually then do file it somewhere, right? And I these folders I created are for filing and reference materials. Obviously, everything I do then goes into reference materials. So for instance, in YouTube, I have a videos done section. So these, these here are the videos that I'm currently working on. Some I've been working on for a while and I haven't recorded them yet. But once I've done them, I actually pop them into here. And so that for me, it's a reference point. I can come back and check it anytime what I made, but it also gets it off my desktop here in my YouTube space. And I go, yep, I get it. I'm That's all done. All right, so off camera, I'm going to, oh, actually, I'll just do it again. So you just long press, you move it, and I'm going to put it back in work, move it there, and there you go. I'm currently, that's currently on my to-do list. All right, so that's my, that's just a brief explanation of the uh, collection box. But look, if you're not confident in this space, borrow my confidence, borrow from me, use this, and then what will happen, I can guarantee you, if you start using it, what will happen is you'll actually then tweak the numbers, if you're using the numbers, the words, if you're using the words, you'll add what you need, and it'll actually become your own. But we always start by borrowing someone else's confidence first, don't we? And then we move on from there. So I hope that helps. Any love on the channel is always appreciated. Thanks so much.